Good morning, YouTube. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties yesterday. Um, didn't <laughs> mean for the video to be posted so um, late. Um, but I think I'll get this video on time. Um, but yeah, so another, another <sighs> sleep disturbed night. Um, had some difficulty staying asleep, so I got up and uploaded my video. <laughs> um, so, but that, I think that was just a, a, a one-time thing that was not for the same reasons as before. My hair is still wet. <laughs> anyway, um, my husband was, um, planning his, um, he's a teacher and he was, um, the finishing touches on his final and just making it look great and he was he's an awesome teacher he worked so hard and um was stressing about making sure it was just perfect and i know he did a great job he's he's um he's a math teacher so yeah <laughs> um and he has to teach math at 8 a.m so uh, and he, not as much a morning person as me, but still, he can, if, if somebody can teach math, especially the higher maths, like he does, like, cal he teaches calculus, um, I think his classes, he's been teaching this, this year has been differential equations for, um, high school, and, <laughs> nah, 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 um, man, um, but he makes it, he, he, he does it, and he's awesome. So, but he, he stayed up a little late, um, just double checking problems and, and everything to make sure things were, were, um, perfect. And so I try, I, I try to stay up with him when he's, um, stressing like that. And, um, so I went to bed a little bit later than I, I had planned, but not, not too terribly. Um, the biggest problem was, is because I can fall asleep super quick and uh like my husband will tell you i'll say i'll say good night and then like two seconds later i'll be like like you can't you can't wake me up but i'll get through like i think i said this before in my last video maybe 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 not maybe i thought i did but i'll go maybe um one or two sleep cycles and then i'll wake up completely um and the sleep cycle is usually like 45 minutes to an hour um and with, um, with that, it's, it, it, it is then difficult for me to go to sleep because my body thinks, oh, well, we've been asleep, so we shouldn't need any more sleep. Um, so it's like I take naps through the night. Um, so it's difficult to feel rested when that happens. But anyway, um, still going to keep up my plan to let me caffeine. <laughs> the brownies are gone. Um, the kids tried them yesterday. Um, my daughter, it was silly. It was so, so funny. She, um, she took a taste of it and then she told, um, my son, she's like, oh, you're not going to like these. These, these have beans in them. And then she grabbed another brownie and he looked at her like, wait, why are you getting another one? And so he, uh, he tried it and he's like, oh man, these are really good. And he, and he, and he got another one. Um, and, um, I did find out that they are gluten-free if you make sure that you check your cocoa powder and your chocolate chips. Um, I think mine weren't gluten-free because um, my, my cocoa powder was gluten-free, but the chocolate chips I had are not certified gluten-free. I got I, I just had Great Value brand from Walmart, and those ones are not um, gluten-free. So, there's that. Anyway, um, so... Despite having um, just little naps all night, I um, woke up around 4 o'clock, or 4.30, I think, um, got the video um, put together and and everything, but um, despite that, I still feel like I can get some things done. Today is Thursday, and so I'm just going to figure out what Thursday's day task is. Um, 
oh, update on the playroom because that's that's um one of the big projects we're working on. Um, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday we have um scheduled for the French drain to be put in. Um, finally got a call back um from the landscapers, and once we get the French drain put placed, we're going to um demolish um the the lower um portion of the wall where the um the flood expert pointed out to us he's like oh he's like okay check uh, he's like cut at a 12 well he's it's 12 and a half 12 and a half inches um up the wall he said to cut the the sheetrock and to check it to see any um sorry my nose is itchy check to see any water damage and go up by 12 inch increments from there um to um just to see if we see any uh, damage, uh, water damage, and, and stop once we see once once there's no more damage, um, and then because that way we when we get the sheetrock it we can rip it in sections, um, that will work and leaving it like I, I believe he said a half inch, um, lip from the bottom, which is why we would measure up. 12 and a half inches. Um, so, oh, my nose is, <laughs> my nose is a cheek. Um, so, so that's, that's where we are with, with that. So the plan is we will take out the, the things. We will treat the wall with, um, just a preventative, um, mold, um, inhibitor. Uh, we'll finish ripping up the rest of the carpet pad that might still look a little and smell a little wonky. Um, we need to, we'll need to lay new pad down, um, glue it down. We'll need to remove the old tack strips because some of them, have, some of the ones against the wall had gotten so damp that they had rotted out. So we'll, we'll remove the ta ta tack strips and, um, we'll need to place new ones and get a carpet stretcher because we, we do try, want to try and, um, recover as much of the carpet as we can, not too particularly fond of the idea of having to recarpet the room, but if necessary, that is what we'll do. But I I would like to not. It's just a it's a playroom, um. So I don't need like it to be super fancy. I just need it to be clean and hygienic. <laughs> um, and that's what we're doing. Um, we we need to um finish getting the debris, the the sheetrock um bits and pieces out, um. Also, um, we'll need to buy a new trim, or we did follow the instructions of the, um, flooded guy. He said, if you can, try to save and clean the, um, the trim the best you can, which is what we're planning to, to try to do, but we kind of, like, wrecked some of the trim when we didn't know exactly what we were doing pulling it off, um, because of wood prices, but we did check some out, and it does appear that, um, at least for the trim, it, it doesn't, look to be too out of our budget to, um, to buy new trim if we need to. Um, but, but yeah, so the end of the month and the most of June will be s DIY putting you know, flood repair of the, the rest of the playroom. After that, um, it'll, it'll be so nice <laughs> to have that done and usable again. <laughs> Uh, ha have had to turn our um, living room, kitchen area into the playroom. Uh, after that, it yeah, that should that should be good. So we'll figure out what today's task is um, to do. I think I think today is my um, errand running day. I've got to make menu plan and shop for it. Um, I think Sunday I will do a um, a video on the apps that I use and the products I use to help me plan my menus and shopping lists. I mean, it makes it super easy um, and all of that. So I hope everybody has a good day. Remember to be compassionate to yourself. It's a journey. <laughs> all of that. 
um, good stuff. Like, just keep affirming to yourself that it's going to be okay because it's, it's just right now. Um, if you ever watched the TV show, um, the first season, I think of Kimmy Schmidt, um, I loved it where she was, she was down in the bunker and they were cranking that thing. And it's like, if you can get through the next five seconds, get through the next five seconds. And that's, some days that's what I have to do. So let's get through these next five seconds together. All right. Bye everybody.